Hello guys, welcome to this new video and this video as the name suggests we are going to be unboxing the Apple Watch Series 5. This one was released right about the same time the iPhone 11 lineup was. So we are going to rip it open of course and see what's inside. In front here we just have Apple Watch written. Nothing much to see here except that this is the silver or well white color one. So guys, let's get into the box. Of course, there's a pull tab here to get into the box, but it's already started ripping open itself, trying to deny me my full unboxing experience. Let's do this. In here, we have the watch box. We have the band here, the spot band. Open this up, a long band, a short band, and well, the other end of the band, I guess. Now to the watch box itself. Round back, we have here the model number MWVD2LLA, series 5, 44mm, silver, aluminium, white, sports band. Designed by Apple in California. Here we have the 5 watt charger. The charging cable, of course, with the magnetic base. And of course, this. The watch face itself in this very nice, premium feeling, soft touch material that out here it is up was is 544 mm i actually did not plan to get this one i wanted the space gray or black one however it was on sale and this was the only color they had left i'm not bothered about the color too much because i already went ahead to buy a black watch band from Spigen, my favorite case manufacturers let's get the bands in i believe this goes in here like so yes and this should go in here like so it clicks in so that's nice and somehow i filed it on already but that's good as that was the next thing i was going to do it that way now we have the watch power done next thing i want to do is connect to our phone and to do that phone is unlocked swipe up now get a prompt immediately saying apple watch use your iphone to set up this apple watch Click continue now basically we just have to scan the watch face here the Apple Watch is paired set up Apple Watch on which wrist do you wear your Apple Watch definitely left connecting to your Apple Watch this may take a moment agree sign into your account this may take a few minutes definitely I have a few minutes cloud while tracking zero uh, Siri, okay. Watch analytics, don't share. Okay, passcode. We actually need to create a passcode on the watch itself, so I'll quickly do that. Activity screen, skip this step. Yeah, definitely keep it up to date. Emergency SOS, continue. Clock faces, continue. Choose later watch is syncing it's done syncing now it took around 10 minutes or so it says your watch is ready press the digital crown to start nice haptic feedback there and we are in the phone here it says welcome to apple watch click ok there you can set the watch face down this apple watch there some other settings here i'll change the watch face because all we have is too bright so i'll just come in here here and set now you can see that watch face is set for the control center we'll swipe up for notifications we'll swipe from here to change your watch face all you have to do is just swipe right and it keeps cycling through all the available watch faces when you press the digital crown you see all the apps available and obviously press again to go back home pressing the side button pulls up the menu where you have settings music timer and you know just shortcuts to stuff you probably use most except workout for me now i'll just quickly put it on getting it on one hand relatively easy it looks nice well i rather have black in the watch app you have a lot of options of course including customizing the watch faces and your general settings and all that you also have a list of available apps on your phone that you can install on your watch as far as i know the difference between the series 5 and the series 4 Starter Series 5 has this new always on display feature which of course means you can set the display to always be on. Also the Series 5 has a new compass which well I guess 
this is useful if you get lost a lot. Finally, what I feel like is the most important new feature of the Series 5 is that it now ships with 32 gigs of storage compared to the 16 gigs of storage in the Series 4. That's going to be very useful to install more apps and you know to keep more music and stuff on your watch itself. Anyways guys, that's been the video. I hope you enjoyed it one way or the other. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.